You're listening to the New Old Heads podcast, shot live every Tuesday at twitch.tv slash new old heads and released every Thursday at noon via bringingdowntheband.com. The show is brought to you by Coleman Dental, Printfinity, Indie CD and Vinyl. Support the show directly by becoming a member at patreon.com slash new old heads. You're now tuned in to the New Old Heads podcast. I am Major 7th. The entire crew is not here. My man Red August is taking care of some business out of town, but we are here. My man, Jay Moore. How are you, sir? Doing well. You know, uh, peace, love, and reparations. You know the vibe. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. My man, Longevity. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How are you doing? Doing pretty good, man. Cool. It? Yep. All right. That's all I got. Sorry, I got to <laughs> click stuff today. So you You're right. Asking. I forgot about that. We'll get one next week. My man, DJ J. Diff. What's happening, man? Salutations. How's everything? Good, man. I yeah. miss when I could uh, go to a pump and drop a uh, hot 20 bucks and we need to be. Just about fill my tank up. What'd it do now? $20? I might get a, a might get home. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might get a hot fourth, maybe. A, a hot fourth? Yeah. That, that's depressing, ain't it? Yeah. Look, I found it's almost been cheap. You know, I only live about three miles from my work slash office, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Right. Um, and so I'll, I'll Uber there. Can't be able to catch a, a cheap Uber. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'll take a change of clothes. I'll just run home. There you right. go. <laughs> get that exercise. <laughs> I kill two I birds like, with one stone. Hey, Stop paying all this money on gas and get my steps in. Hey, I'm with you when you're right. Yeah, man. Hey, more speaking of you and your health, man, you got a favorite fruit, man. Do you like, um, yeah, watermelon was yeah, watermelon was in the news. He had a yeah, I was asking. Fruit. He eating. He, he uh, whatever, healthcare. whatever. Uh, Omarion and his brother <laughs> are not eating. That's my favorite fruit. Yeah. <laughs> How goofy was that, man? Before we get started, this is one of the corniest things I've ever seen. I'm sorry, but I because the thing is, they thought they were up there doing something sexy, and I was like, "Do you know how stupid you look right now, bro? You got Fabo glasses on, eating watermelon. I mean, it's like if, if yeah, if there was any question, if they were, uh, if he was a legend, the answer is obviously now <laughs> no. Jay, Diff, what do we do, man? How many points were deducted for that uh, foolery? They could have stopped the verses right then. I was like, yeah. Mario won. Yeah. Well, point, points were deducted, I don't right? Know how many points were deducted? I mean, it was. That's pretty bad, bro. <sighs> he just. Uh... <laughs> Does he have real people around him? <clears throat> yeah. This is the month of June. You up there with you. you, you, you and awesome. tell your brother to get out of here. We so don't even. We don't need him on stage for anything. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, he messed up when he fumbled uh, Janae Iko. Oh, he that's dropped where, the ball. That's where he. That's where oh, he was that a, oh, was that a thing? I, I think. I, I think they might have a child together, though. I didn't know that, but he definitely dropped the ball. If that's the case. Yeah. yeah. Well, damn that. Yeah, that yeah. was that was tragic, though, man. That was some, his that was claim a, to fame is now eating watermelon on stage in the versus battle. But that I, is, he enjoyed it, though, right? Uh, I hope so. I hope it was sweet. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> a delicious fruit. <laughs> well, let me go. ask you something. In that situation. In what situation? The watermelon situation. What, what is versus, the watermelon? Versus. You know what's he doesn't know what you're talking about. He knows, he knows <laughs> what I'm talking about. He knows what I'm talking about. He hasn't watched Versus in two years. He knows what I'm talking about. We've been but talking about Versus a, on this show like a year after I yeah. stopped watching. All right, so there was a Versus. <laughs> okay, yep. With some singers. And let me list. If you had a friend of yours that was like, hey, Lone, I'm going to kill him, man. Like when, after this song, I'm going to take some watermelon out there with my shades and I'm going to dance around and eat it. Would you tell that friend that's a good idea or would you be a real friend and be like, you're going to embarrass yourself? Well, it sounds like you tried to suggest to me what I should say before you. I'm just ask him. No, I mean, you said you, you suggested that I, I should. I'd a, hope that you would but... be a real friend. But what if the real friend's like, well, hey, you know, like if you really love watermelon <laughs> and you really want to show the world your love for watermelon. And maybe you should do that. Never mind. This is all bad. <laughs> it is. Never mind. <laughs> I, you all know, right, I, real I, little I, story. Don't get out there and shuck and jive. That's and eat watermelon really at the same time. You can what, shuck. What was the? What was maybe jive, but don't shuck and jive. Not yeah, both of them. What was the? Why they do it? Did they say? They, no. They. I'm pretty they, sure that he and his goofy brother thought that was going to be sexy. Like mm -hmm. they out there eating watermelon, <laughs> and it seems like it's sensual. And I was like, no, you just look like a couple of deuce. Yeah. It's probably took a, a challenge. Page, if I was they to took guess. a page from LL Cool J's book and and didn't even uh, uh, act out as good as LL Cool J did. Let's just say that. Yeah, I don't because LL Cool J used to just eat mad, just random fruit in the middle of videos and stuff. <laughs> hey, you right though. 
LL was a Earth menace. Animals, huh? LL, was, <laughs> LL was a menace in some of them videos. Yeah, Let's man. just get that straight. He was in the eating uh, fruit at the strip club and and uh, yeah, just doing a lot. LL yeah. in we, the red light district. Yeah, we but we love you, LL. Yeah, yeah, you know you still still the OG. All right, go ahead and just jump into the rundown. Um, but Bobby Smurder, man, I don't, I don't, I don't know what. Is that the one that got the most votes, Mike? Oh, it is that? Okay. Well, doom, doom, doom. doom. Oh, let me see. Finish him. <laughs> All right. Boy Wonder. Flawless victory. Let's see. Oh, I know what got the most. Yeah. Don't I, apologize. I know what got the most votes. Oh, yeah. So, here we go again. All right. All right. A rose is still a rose. A rose is still a rose. Baby so girl. <laughs> I don't know if you're a flyer, but <laughs> <laughs> so this record. So I, I um, was on Twitter and somebody showed, sent, shared a link of a legendary producer, one of my favorites. So he'll be on this list that we're talking about. He's definitely not going to get hog tied uh, by the name of Manny Fresh. And this he, is not the number one one either. What? Boy Wonder and Cardo was the number one voted one. That's what I was starting on. Bobby Smurder's in that. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby Spurs is a part of that. Oh, well, then I screwed up. Well, he messed I'm up. Sorry, it's just, hey. I mean, I'm, I'm so used to oh, Mike good. messing up that, I mean, that I messed up. I'm you know, just saying. I'm going to deflect yeah, you, as much as I you, can. You right had now. us ready because we, we used to Mike messing up. Yeah, we yeah, always yeah, go. Yeah. Hey, Mike, I apologize. I apologize. I mean, it's is a part my of bad. I messed up. I thought the second one, this second one is going to be funny, though, but all right, we're going to go back. Let's to, go back. Yeah. All yeah. right, cool. Yeah, Bobby's yeah. in this. So Bobby is the one that, Bobby Smurder is the oh, wait, one. Oh, I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby is the one that uh, got Cardo, the producer Cardo and Boy Wonder, who are two dope producers, got them uh, doing some tweeting because there was a video that he shared uh, basically dragging producers. And some of the stuff that he pointed out was um, why do producers always have 54 people on the song? If you're going to have that many people on there, um, and I'm paraphrasing here. Why y'all charging eight to 10 G's for beats? Um, I'm independent. I made five, but he also says I made $500,000 this year, but he's complaining about paying for beats and paying producers. And in a collaborative era, which we've all talked about, you're going to have people that might play bass, might play, you know, strings or whatever. I'm sure his music probably is not going to have strings. If I was to guess, it could be sample clearance. He might like a song with strings in it. I mean, it could. Y'all find it. Let me know. I will stand corrected. But I'm tired of like I'm tired of seeing producers get picked on because I don't know what artists want producers to do. On one hand, you say, why are y'all charging eight to ten thousand for a beat? And in the same video saying you're saying I already made five hundred thousand uh, dollars this year. So it can't be that hard out there. So I was confused by this. And Cardo jumped in um, <clears throat> and he starts tweeting. He says rappers saying producers uh, overpricing their beats shows that we don't have any respect, which I agree with. He says. We we have to make you we have to make you pay more every time because you're trying to lowball us. And I'm paraphrasing here for the twenty five hundred dollar beats. He goes to talk about how he's got mouths to feed, but they end up having to take it. Um, so Lone, I'm coming to you because you're a producer. Very good one. Thanks. What is the uh, what's the deal with the artists complaining about the producers, but but wanting high quality beats? Because Card Cardo and Boy Wonder are top tier legit producers. I yeah. I mean I don't. Look, if they if they cost too much, then go find somebody else. Thank you. That's Thank really you. the end of what I would say. Because like, unless you really want to work for it, like they dictate their own price. <clears throat> so, I mean, at the same time, you know, like there is more collaboration going on. So there is more like spread of the wealth of money. Like if mm -hmm. I do a beat with you and the Gobinator, right? We split it three ways or whatever. But that does that that to my to my what I would say is I don't really think that should dictate price too much, though. Like, the collabor the co collaboration uh, part? Like, like, are you going to pay more for a Jake One beat by himself versus Jake One with four other producers on it? Nah, probably not. Like, you wouldn't want to do that. Um, I don't know. I feel like at the end of the – just, just to kind of keep it short, like, mm. I, I just think that it's – the producers get to dictate the price because it's their work and their material. Mm -hmm. um, and if, if you don't like the price, then go find another producer that can make something closer to your budget because there are plenty of really dope producers that can, and you just got to find them. And he's so, saying – Lots and lots of them. And he's saying, I ain't giving – 
expletives, no ten thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars for a producer song. Who told y'all to have ten people on the song anyway? So I don't think people are foaming out the mouth to give get a beat to um Bobby Smarter anyway. That's a good point. I mean, because you have to consider the fact that depending on the artist, sometimes they may waive that fee until they see how your record does and collect on the back end of it. But um somebody like Bobby Smarter, I mean, he's in a position where he could get up and coming producers and try to put them on. I mean, he's literally famous off of an up and coming producer, right? right. His, his most popular track. Yeah. So why wouldn't he use that same energy and formula to keep going? Because he's he's not really a sought after artist like that. I mean, the two names yeah. that he named, it's like those are I mean, high they, level they hot right now. And he's, yeah. And he's talking like eight to ten thousand dollars per beat, like. I can see both. I think they charge more than that. Way more than that. So I I don't really think that that's like super crazy. Um, You know, so I, I don't know, like in in this particular aspect, my, again, like you don't find somebody else. There's plenty of producers out there that work with you for free. And see, I, I think sometimes artists, well, I know you want to get the name and have access to the name, but you don't want to pay for what comes with it. And Mm -hmm. it goes, but you have to pay for what you get. And, you can't have Cardo and Boy One listed as a producer. Uh, Boy One to listed as producers, but charge them twenty five hundred dollars off the strength. Or I'm, yeah, that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. It just doesn't work that way. Unless you have some sort of larger percentage built into the back end mechanical yeah. licensing, as well as the regular publishing aspect. You know, maybe you get the give the producer more closer to fifty percent as opposed to nothing or ten percent. You know, like if you split it fifty fifty, then you know maybe. You know, but then it's just, again, it just depends on the producer and what he's okay with doing, balancing the value of the situation. And if he looks at you and says, nah, where I'm at right now, I don't have a batch of beats to give you right. for this price. <clears throat> so I, you know, it's on, to me, it's on the producer to just dictate that. And the artist is either take it or you don't. Yeah. Or move on. Yeah. Somebody will take it. I have learned that. Somebody will take it. What you think, Jay Moore? Well, you know, okay. Just because I'm not particularly good at math, I like you know solid numbers like say a track is ten thousand dollars right you know are you upset because more than one person worked on the ten thousand you know you're still getting spain to send ten thousand dollars are you upset because there's five people that worked on your ten thousand dollar beat is that what he's saying or is I it think he's tr- I think thinking he's trying that to say that it's, that it's driving the price it's up. driving the yeah, price it's driving, yeah, well it's driving i, I mean and i think part of the shock is <clears throat> Uh, Bobby Schmurter is now um, independent as opposed to when he had uh, go. a label machine behind him. And, you know, when it was like, all right, just cut the check. You know, we'll take care of it. You know, that'll come out of my advance or whatever. Producer budget. You know, now that you, this is the, you know, everybody that talks about the strength of independence and how great it is to be independent and be an entrepreneur. But this is part of the game when you're going yeah. to go down that road. Everything, you have to pay for everything up front with the hope that what it does uh, become something that you can monetize and tour with and you can make that money back on, you know, literally the back end. Right. You know, mm-hmm. so this is this is the thing. A lot of artists become spoiled, you right. know, once they've been through that major label system and they see, you know, because of my name, I can just get out here and uh, throw something on, up on YouTube and 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 hit it on streaming. And it works for some people. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, like there's a there's, there's about 100 things you do not have to worry about when you have, you know, an A&R, you have your record reps, you have all these people who are working on your behalf. Now, it costs money where, you know, you're seeing so much come out up front that you may not see anything on the back end right. other than your touring money. But I think this is where a lot of artists, they get spoiled by the major label system. They get out here on their own and they're like, wait a minute, I have to cut these checks. You know, they, they have yeah, it. Nori they, talks about it often as far yeah. as how he went, uh, uh, it's called, um, independent, independent versus him being on Def behind Jam, Def or, Jam machine or penalty or whatever, how, how much more work it was for him to do it the independent way. So. Yeah, because you're the one that has to call these radio stations. You're the one who has yeah. to get on a plane and, you know, and go sit down and with program directors or, or get on the phone. And, you know, chances are at this point, like once you're on an independent, you're so b- far behind because they have to take care of all their major label relationships. Mm-hmm. Right. So, I mean, you know, this is just uh, Bobby Schmurter 
uh, having to come to the realization that being independent, yeah. while you can reap an incredible reward in the long run, if you do it the right way and you take care of your business in, you know, if you're just looking at the short game, <laughs> you may spend, you know, $500,000. Don't get me wrong. That puts you in the top 1% or 4%. I can't remember it. It shifts because of inflation bad stock market, whatever. Right. Uh, yeah. But you know, that, that still puts you in a high tier earner. And like there, everybody in this room would happy, be happy to have $500,000, you oh, know, yeah. in a year, but you know, you're in the mode. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but when you're talking about, okay, I have, I'm the one that has to pay for these dinners. I'm the one that has to pay for producers. I'm the one that pays for studio time. It hit a little bit different, you know, like your $500,000, then you got a life to maintain on top of that. And all this is and coming out of New York. So New York is a different, yeah. Uh, and all this is coming out at the cost. same time. You got to look out for family and friends. Five hundred thousand. You're five hundred thousand. In plus, you're you know it goes in. You yeah. You made five hundred thousand, but you only keep in half. Yeah. If so that, if you, that, you, really? if that. So you start seeing twenty five hundred dollars. You be like, well, that's that's a that's a actually a decent percent of what I'm making. Mm -hmm. You know, not well one percent, but still. Right. You know, I mean, when you think about spending one percent of on one track and then you haven't eaten yet. It can start to get to you, and I can see where he's frustrated, but this is the game he chose. Something that jumped out to me was just Cardo talking about, I got the sense that he's been short, they're getting shortchanged a lot as going through his tweets, with, which is weird to me for guys of this stature. I think people would just, you know, you know what you're getting when you come to them, and we're going to pay the fee and then just make a hit record. So I mean, Everybody ain't got that Kanye Jay-Z money, so. Man, and it's, to hear them getting going through that too it just goes to what he said about the value of the producer and people will try to shortchange producers clearly on any level that's what well, they show get on sound click or whatever it is these, all these producers are trying to <laughs> uh, whatever it is i don't know because I, I can't remember beat where stars where beat um, stars is one yeah. where Lil nas x he found the beat the old town road yeah you know and get on tiktok yeah and found found it and, i mean the dude who produced the event you know he got his money they got their paperwork together yeah but you know, he wasn't a name. Who who was who nah. was Lil Nas X to be asking for beats and asking for discounts and like they're overcharging me. That thing, dude, that dude is very happy now, though. Yeah, the the definitely. thing is, is like right now, there there's not a shortage of access and artists and producers out there. Like if everything is so easy to find, and there's an abundance of everything. So I like, I mean, his position he's in, he can literally get on one of these social media platforms and say, send me beats. Yep. And send me will be fire. flooded with beats. Yep. Yep. He can come, he put out an album for $12,000. Yep. <laughs> Would you say loan as oh, long as take? I he's, mean, he's not lying. He's not. There'd be somebody to be so happy to get a thousand dollars for a beat right now. Yeah. Come on, but I man. think artists, I think artists also are scared to take that risk. Or the unknown guy that that, that sends the, the heat. Fifty Cent was well, that why? was his formula for but, a while. What, where, Thank, but where where's where would the fear even come from? Because I think the fear comes from not having a ha, not having a name attached to it, even though the record is hot. I so think they don't need they think. that though. So then you're banking on somebody else's. Yeah, they don't no, need I, somebody else's clout. No, what I I think artists do that. I think people reach out to Premier and Pete Rock because of their names and well, they make sure. dope stuff for sure. But with the with the upcoming producer it's like okay nobody really really knows this guy or, or girl but they got heat so it's like so where where is your weight that you're pulling though behind where is your carriage i mean I because you have to bring something to the table as well i would think so, so if, I, if i'm in a position like bobby smurda then i'm absolutely going to find somebody up and coming because that might be the person that i end up working with i mean just like uh uh what's his name uh hit boy yeah Hit Boy didn't just start out with being Hit Boy. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. had to start somewhere, and now he's like Nas's go-to guy. Go-to. So yeah. why don't you find your go-to guy or find a handful of go-to people? Make them hot. And they, and kind of hone your sound and go from there versus That's how you should do it. wanting to use people that are already on and then complaining about their prices. Because, yeah. I mean, they got to a point and are charging that for a reason. Right. Good point about 50, too. I've always loved that about 50, that he would, no matter who made it, if it was dope, he had enough confidence yeah, in himself. Yeah, if it's a dope beat, somebody else who cares dope. who made it? Yeah. That's the name. Like, name power really doesn't mean anything. I mean, it 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 can. Like, if don't get me wrong. Like, if you, if you have a big producer that yeah. you work with on, like, a single or something, but if you're putting a project together, yeah. 
you know, who's really going to look at the credits except for like the heads and the fans, yeah, you know right. what I mean? So it's that's like, a good that's point. a new that's thing. A good like point, back Mom. in the day, you didn't hear the, the producers and stuff screaming their names all over track. You would have heard, uh, uh, what's his name? All over Thriller. And oh, after a while, Quincy, Quincy Jones, Jones would have been right. name dropped. QJ the on the track. <laughs> on, the whole time. These are diamond albums. Yeah. Yeah. And to Long's point about the heads, um, I used to I used to love reading the credits. So, yeah, but you can't read the credits uh, on the radio. They're can't. Not, they don't even have cares. them anymore now. Like I, you have. You can to, read them on title. Is it on title? They have sure. them on title. Okay. Shout out to title. I just think I, I just think you build it yourself, man. I, I, like you need you need your. I, I still think there's a place for like finding your guys, finding your people. Yeah. You know? Like find the artists that you want to work with. You want to chase placements. Of course, I'm talking about this in reverse, but. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. But like, just find your people. If you're, if you're a rapper, find yourself, find yourself some go-tos, you know, like that will cut you a little bit of a break and that you can, you know, build a sound with and, and you might turn, with. you might build up and turn into a, a TDE, a Soundwave and or, Kendrick. Yeah. And you could, you know, it, it, while it happens, maybe that producer, it gets really good and starts blowing up and helps you. No, so. Look at Forty and Drake. How long they been together? Yeah, for, nobody knew Forty before Drake. I didn't. Nah. I did. Does Forty even produce for anybody else? I don't see. Does he need I don't to? Even know if he needs. He to. doesn't need to. But no, I'm. I don't yeah. even know. I. I've only seen his name attached to Drake. That's so, where I. I, I, mean, hey, I that's where I found yeah. out about him. Yeah. So it, like, to Lone's point, it can't happen if you build with your crew. Carday's like that. He's got kids from Chicago. That he's. Uh, Corday. I'm sorry. He's got kids from Chicago. They came up together. Produced all over his last project. We well, you know, and plus Bobby Schmurter's under some some real pressure because okay, he's been out of jail for a minute now. Yeah. Um, he put out that song with on, on when he was still on the label with Quavo, or whatever, and that 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 I don't think that uh that arrived that was dead on arrival. Yeah. Um, because <laughs> I I played it in the club one time, you know, during a little workout period on Saturday, <laughs> and that was that was it. That was it. That was it. You know. Um. And so he's like literally he's literally viral for dancing now. Yeah. So now, Dance. so now he's probably under a little bit of pressure because it's yeah. like, okay, when you don't have a hit record and everybody's already welcomed you home from prison, you got to show and prove, you know what True. I'm saying? So True. he's got to get something out there because it's, it's easy to be for easy to be. Oh yeah. Remember Bobby Schmurter? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He better sell one of them necklaces. <laughs> yeah. So Necklace. he's, he's got to get, so he, he needs a feature. He needs something for the summertime because it, it, it comes and goes very, very quickly. This is true. And, it's, and, and for right now, that's probably why he's frustrated because it's going. All right. True. Gone. <clears throat> All right, man, let's go. Let's go ahead and go to the, our next topic here. So the producer I was talking about earlier before we. You know, a little confusion. Yeah. All right. It's all good. All good. Live. Um, for some reason, I, I, I think I had one of them Freudian <laughs> things where you said Manny. Oh, and, man, yeah, man, and I yeah. was like, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. So speaking of Manny, one of my favorites, uh, Ramirez. Like, <laughs> good. From Boston. He's actually was cold. Machado. Was cold. Uh, nice. Oh, okay. Been Pacquiao. You've been playing that baseball game. Yeah, I huh? sure have. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. PlayStation game was high or Xbox. Yeah, Xbox. Okay. Anyway, so uh, Manny Fresh, legendary producer. We don't have to intro, intro him. We know who he is. You just did. Well, I mean, whatever. Y'all know who he is. <laughs> I would hope so. <laughs> All I said was Manny Fresh, but you should know who that is by now. If you don't, then that's right. the intro, sir. But he is, uh, and he's definitely not going to get hogs out on the list. So uh, if he does, I might throw some stuff in here. But our record that came out, man. <sighs> Amber Rose is rapping. I ain't know she rapped. Did y'all know? Not till the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's when you found out. Jay Moore, did you know she was an MC? Let's not use the M, uh, term MC so loosely. All right. She Remember, said, anybody can write she, Yeah, rhyme. she's, she's that saying that words that rhyme. She's definitely not an MC. Okay, so, well, I saw this, and it's a remake of a classic. And they have actually have the acronym. I saw it online. It's G-Y-H-O is what's in the title now. Everybody get your roll on. Mm -hmm. Good call, Long. But there's been a remake. Everybody get your hoe on. Thank Dang. you, Long. Um... <laughs> hey, gardening is a thing it is yeah, it is yeah. shout out to gardening um but this is really bad man this is really bad but my question to you all is who, who do we blame does many had does who Manny, do we blame i mean do we have to i don't know if we get gotta get into blaming no, people why do you hate people so much i don't hate people but 
Certain stuff just shouldn't be done, man. I'm sorry. I, mean, I think we just need, she needs to hold herself accountable for she this. She does, but this nobody no, nobody's going to talk about Manny honoring this. I think this is a terrible move. But man. if he like, based is upon, the bag that big? Based on what we I just doubt it, but still, what we just said, Manny can do and work with. Work, he can, right? That don't mean I gotta like him for do, like him for doing it though. But hey, man, get your money. But I don't like it. But I don't you like said it to all. blame, like yeah, man, this is bad, man. <laughs> this is bad. Have you you haven't seen the video yet? I, I watched like six seconds of it. Uh-huh. So, well, I, I, saw just, I saw enough to see what was going on. Getting dragged on Twitter, man. You, what you think about the concept, man? Am I tripping? Just well, let Manny get his bag and get out the way. Yeah, let's just leave Manny out of this. Okay, for now. let me leave Manny out the way. Manny, man. Manny, I still think this is Manny a bad look. Gave, gave the clearance, or whoever from Cash Money gave the clearance for her to do this song. He's in the video too, by the yeah, way. He's in the video, <laughs> Which in is the crazy. background dancing. This ain't a good look, Manny. I'm sorry, but I mean it's it's on her. I mean. She wants to do that. She has her little hoe walk. Uh, no, it's a slut walk. Slut it's walk. Okay. It's not a hoe walk. Uh, same thing. <laughs> it's the same it's thing. Same thing. It's, it's about gardening. Right? Yeah. It's about. I mean, gardening is in thing right now. So I mean, she she's got that going on. So I guess she wanted to have some theme music. Every superhero needs a theme song, right? I guess this is her superpower coming into oh, effect. It? Yeah. yeah. Okay. She's been working on honing it for a while. Yeah, she has. But she was upset with Kanye about talk, talking about taking a bunch of showers. Remember that? I do remember that. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, yeah. how are you going to say? I mean, he shouldn't have said it. No, he shouldn't have said that. But Especially with who he went to go be with. And, I, yeah. and what I didn't see, you know, I, she got tape on her. So, you know. Something, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's <laughs> funny how all the Kardashians are skinny now. Well, you know, money well spent. I don't you know. You pay for some stuff now yeah. these days. Uh, well, they were paying for other things. When they were other people, I'm just like, just like, (laughs) never mind. (laughs) Just like Mr. Potato Head, you can add and remove. You can. When you got bread, you can do that. It's it's amazing this conversation because we're on the radio, how it has morphed. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Interesting. But yeah, Uh, Amber Rose. uh, is. So you're going to get the mixtape? That's my question. Absolutely not. Is it a drama mixtape? I don't know. Is Cardi B featured on it? Maybe I mean, she Megan. Can't, she can't afford Cardi B. <laughs> don't, do, don't do that. Don't do that. Cardi B might throw her live. Yeah. I never know. Cardi B got an actual career. She does. Yeah, she does. But at one point, she was. I mean, look, this is the thing. When's the last time before this have we talked about, or anybody talked about Amber Rose? That's a uh, good question. I mean, maybe, maybe when she was Wasn't dating. Wasn't she dating Big Sean or something? 21 no. Savage. Really? So, 21 Savage. I didn't yeah. even know that. That was some years ago. Who, exactly. That's the last time. She's you had know. a baby with a whole nother dude since then. What's oh, really? I, see, once yeah. again, you got to understand. Like <laughs> we, we talked about, and this is not really Amber Rose's category, but it kind of fits into, you know, how people, people <laughs> would rather be famous than rich or talented. Yeah. You know, yeah. and Amber Rose is one of those people who didn't, ex- you know, exhibit any real talent. Right. But was famous and it, and not just kind of famous. Like everybody knew who famous. this was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know she mainstream across. But you know, like that can only carry you so far. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, because you know, there's a it, the way the internet is set up now. Uh, a new Amber Rose, a new version of Amber Rose turns 21 uh, every every day, and there's somebody else every who, hour, every hour. You know what I'm saying? So. Now she's like, okay, I'll try rapping and maybe people will remember who I am. And because, you know, she tried a talk show, she tr- you know, her, you know, she tried getting on the people had the slut walks and whatnot and people stopped caring. But, you know, the thing is, people who have had that taste of the limelight and of the sunshine, they don't they, they want to continue that. That's why a lot of times when we talk about people trading and this is not really her trading dignity for attention. You know, like this every, is who she is. Everybody knows she can't <laughs> rap. Everybody and nobody's checking for her music. Nah. But this is a way to, even if it's nobody's everybody, even if it's bad, even if they're clowning her on Twitter, at least they're talking about her because yeah. we ain't talked yeah. about Amber Rose in three. When or four the last years. time you seen Twenty One Savage on one of them slut walks? Yeah, them looking stupid. Yeah, he had a, he had a sign that said, "I'm a hoe too." Yeah, that's stupid. Like I was like, "Oh, he's been hypnotized." Yeah, he definitely was hypnotized. She must have got that Erica Badu. Uh, what comment was wearing in the, in the Come Close video? No, when he was wearing like them crochet, crochet pants and, uh, and leaves.
leaves his gloves and all this other things. Jason <laughs> leaves his, his gloves. gloves. Like he was wearing whole nature outfits and probably uh, big old scars. He's probably using crystals for deodorant and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm glad he Walking got out. Of, musty. I'm glad he got out of that. What phase. would you say, Terry? Walking around musty. Oh man, not well, my crystals man don't Kyle, get the man. job done. No, no, no you can't. They do say that. it's natural, man. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. How do you rub crystals? On? You know what else is natural? I know body odor. Yeah, body exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, you know what? And the thing is, but the way the marketplace is set up, she could catch a hot one and mess around and all of a sudden. Oh, be clear. This pro- this may work. I'm just It's not going to work. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, dog. It's not going to work. I don't know, man. I don't know. I ain't going, man. I ain't going to rule it out, bro. I ain't going to rule I'm it not, out. I'm not downloading that song. I ain't going to download it. You're next, not going to play it one after Next work? Saturday, you had me come do... Uh, the the little shindig yeah. at the spot. Yeah, I'm not putting that in my Serato. Are you sure? We, I'm telling you, you could play it this. You could play it what this if Friday. Somebody, <laughs> what if somebody hold their phone up with it and, and be like, Nah, man. <laughs> the no for me, dog. Mm-mm. Be like, wait a uh, minute. I don't know. Because we come to find out, he's like, wait a minute, Amber Rose. Put your phone down. Yeah. <laughs> Great guy. Amber Rose could Amber Rose could request a song, and I wouldn't. Manny play. in the video dancing, man, having a good time, man. Look. Mm-hmm. Great guy. He's Manny Fresh. It Manny is Fresh Manny always has a good time. Thanks, yeah. When is Manny Fresh? Have you not seen him thoroughly enjoying himself yeah. on TV? Dancing. That's That's he things. All in the videos. Yeah, man. He's definitely That's what getting he all do. the videos. That's what he do. He made the track. He did. He got a check for it. He did. Jackson being in the video got another check for that. He did. So, oh, was Manny Fresh in Vax that thing up? Yes. He was absolutely a part of Vax that That's two. See? So, so I guess it is. That was in. The, we that need was to get the hot boys too. back together. Or something. Manny <laughs> Man. Fresh. You need to. <laughs> you know what? I didn't think about. You need to free What's BG. That? True. Manny Fresh has always been smart because he's always had original production. Always. He's getting. Samples he's getting there. double the publishing for this. He sure oh, yeah. is. Yeah. Sure. Not is. only is he getting it for the regular song, he gets sampling himself. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so, if it works, I'm not ruling it out. I, I ain't gonna th- say it's gonna I, be I a hit or nothing work. like that. I don't think it's gonna work. But. I don't know, man. The people for the walk might just mm-hmm. ride out and just run them numbers. Yeah, up I mean, the they, yeah, did you hear the content she's talking about? No, I didn't six really pay attention. To man, lyric. she's talking about Stupid six seconds. She's talking about some suspect. Well, I mean, it. I guess it ain't suspect, but um, it's it's definitely uh, it is some stuff, some promiscuous it, behavior. There it Would is. it work better if she released it at the beginning of Pride Month? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to put them in a position. Yeah, we ain't gonna. Yeah, I don't. Wanna, I don't know yeah, about that. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, all right. <laughs> what you this say? is Black Music Month too. It's a whole so bunch is, of yeah. BS going on in Black Music Month. <laughs> I don't like it at know. all. Oh. Mm-hmm. When White Hit Music Month comes around, <laughs> we'll be sure and then they release the Elvis movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. How you gonna release yeah, the Elvis gonna... movie during Black Music Wait, Month? Wait, is that out already? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it came out last week, I believe. Mike, when you gonna buy me? A ticket? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were getting me a, a ticket for Juneteenth. Yeah, I thought you. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was your Juneteenth present for <laughs> Jack. Uh, I, I just shared that clip today. It's. It's clear that I'm not. <laughs> Yo, if y'all want to see something funny though, real quick, watch Ray Charles when he's interviewed and asked about. Elvis. Oh man, he killed him. Yeah. He destroyed yeah. him. Bob Costas was like, "But well, what about him? He, he was like, feeling bad about, about killing. Him. He was like, "Man, y'all probably ain't gonna want to talk to me no more after this." He said, "I'm gonna lose probably about a third of my fans." <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. He wouldn't really like that. He actually was laughing. I just he was the laughing. Clip is, the clip is great. He wasn't mad about it at all. Nah. I think that's just his default face. He's always happy. <laughs> Just like Manny Fresh. <laughs> what a way to tie it all in. What a way to tie it all in. He is. I, I've never seen Ray Charles look angry. That's true. Except yeah. when, except when uh, they took his heroin. Yeah. When they, and on that note, let's go take ahead. take that narcotic from you. <laughs> no, no we're not about to do this. <laughs> we're not about to do this. All right. It's right. <laughs> in a movie, man. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's not. I, well, I'm like I'm out here man. lying on Ray Charles. Everybody know he had, a, he had like, a problem. Like we out here airing out his Like he had a business. problem with that boy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean... Dude, he got caught up in Indiana, didn't exactly. he? Exactly. Yeah. So surprise, did, yeah. surprise. Oh, so did. Off the plane. Hey, man. Well. All right, man. Well, can we shout out the... Uh, sure. Thank you. Thanks to our partners. Dr. Coleman of Coleman Dental is our go-to dentist. He's a longtime Indianapolis arts and music supporter located right in Broad Ripple. Printfinity is a screen printing shop based in Indianapolis, owned and operated by our own DJ J. Diff. Our good friends at Indie CD and Vinyl operate one of the best record stores in North America. Shop new and used in their site or visit them in person. And the best way to support the new old heads is to visit our Patreon and become a member for as little as three bucks a month. All details on newoldheads.com. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> Shout out to the sponsors, man. We, <laughs> what happened to we, that boy? We, yeah, <laughs> we appreciate you all. <laughs> Shout out to the chat as well. I see y'all acting a fool. I didn't see some of. I feel like I missed some heat. I see you smooth who's your uh, DJ uh, Corey T. I see you as well. All right, man. Let's uh <laughs> get to this next topic. So, <laughs> hey, there's a. Uh, Back to uh, the Slut Rock. <laughs> so evidently, the shirt said, Captain Save a Me. Oh, that was right. that, that, that shirt? Is that? Yeah, it's smooth who just said okay. that. Uh, he had on the shirt that said, Captain Save a Me. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty stupid. Yeah, man. That's kind of clever, actually. It's a, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a knife. That's funny. <clears throat> All right, 21, man. 21, 21, 21. <laughs> so. I saw something interesting from Spotify. I'm, I have Spotify and didn't know this, so I kind of feel stupid. Hey, yeah, Spotify ain't know. Man, I just feel bad you right now. You get that app. I do. It says Spotify, like the the thing says Spotify under the little symbol on your phone. Right. Man, no, I missed this. They got a new website called In Focus. <laughs> okay. And it's basically like artist management. Oh, okay. They, they give you. Pretty cool. They throw some lobs. So yeah. What's it about? your work. Uh, artist management. Yeah, it's I literally. Mean- it's literally for artist management. They manage artists. Yeah, that's what that's what the website says. Now, y'all correct me if I'm wrong, but they help you with create music, how you, learning learning about earning revenue. Um, it even has merch on the last website that I read about how to do promotion, connecting with fans. This looks really good as I'm looking at uh, just the presentation for the site. I don't like know a money grab. They're gonna that, get a whole bunch of up and coming or pick somebody logged in today and want decide they want to be an artist and see this and doesn't have a and manager think that this is going to work yes so artist management yes so they not have, just career path advice this is there's 21 let me go back can you just hire a manager 21. we'll see see how much they cost see what the ticket is yeah let's see i need a new manager no stop long <laughs> <laughs> stop long okay yeah. let's see what's the ticket the one thing I didn't see on the, I was just on their website. Artist I did not see. advice platform. I mean, I mean like there it is, sounds dope though. Like you say, like I, artists, like I mean a lot. Like even the distrib the distrib distribution. Why can't, why can't I say that word? Distributor like that I use. Uh, they have a. Um, I mean, they got a blog and they share a whole bunch of stuff, and you know they have their panels and stuff that they do like that. But Spotify doing it like a music uh, platform that's website based really around. Impressive. Streaming is super interesting because, but I think Terry, what he said is the part where it's the up and coming people that don't have, I guess, the funds to, you know, hire a manager or have someone to kind of guide them out the gate. They may use this as a tool just to get, you know, jewels from the site that might help them. They might see it that way, and it might that might be the market, or it could be for established artists. You, that do you know? Is, is this a is this a pay? pay to get this access or is it just like an open website like i'm on the site right now and i don't see anything mentioned for a uh a price now i don't believe that it's got to be somewhere you gotta sign up for everything and then they don't tell you what it costs website is very impressive by the way you didn't share the link in our feed should be some spotify they got money yeah the the web website is fire they're using wordpress and uh (laughs) moon fruit or whatever it is people use to make the uh websites now yeah. So what happens is there's five things that pop up. Hey, uh, bro. Uh, uh, huh? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I, th- here's what I'll say. If it's, if it's a, um, if it's just like a resource, like an artist resource type platform, I think that's cool. Um, I do too. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's plenty of those things out there. If they're trying to curate it based around streaming or whatever, I think that's a cool thing. If it's some sort of thing where they're trying to create something where people can highlight and Get managers or whatnot. Oh, okay. So create music and more. Where do you want to focus? Promote your work. Oh, so what happens if you probably like, tears? So if you go, if you go promote your work. Yeah. Okay. Reaching your current fans, reach new audiences. Each section has a, its own section. How to promote your work. So it really goes in depth, as you can see on the site. So the site is site looks great. So it doesn't look like there's anything to where you sign up for anything to actually have a manager, right? Right. That's, like that's they, what you said. That's why I was a little confused. They sell it as they sell it as getting perks of of having a manager, but I don't think it's any no type of one on one or anything like that. Well, good. Th- then 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 it's less of a money grab because I I don't think that artists, unless you're established to a certain degree, needs to to pay for a manager. Like if you're not at the point to 
if you're at a point to where you're not um, bringing in money at all, <laughs> essentially, mm-hmm. um, you See, don't need a manager yet because you haven't got there. The Spotify for artists call call it a artist manager in your pocket. Mm. So yeah. you make it sound good. Right, right. Yeah, to me, it's honestly cool. That's all I have to say. In focus web, in focus Whatever. website to set you on the right path for success in your career as an artist, even if you don't have a manager yourself. And they about, like I said, they about to have people just throwing money at them, thinking that it's gonna put them on. If it essentially, if, if they have that option to, yeah. like, if 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 it's just like a resource guide, then who cares? Yeah, choose choose from one of twenty one focus areas, and we'll give you we'll give you tools, resources, and recommendations to help you achieve what matters most to you. See if you can like actually try to sign up. You know what I mean? Like follow it and see if you can actually sign up for anything. Yeah, we're gonna so we, we either, try, either, trying it live. We, we're we're gonna yeah. expose them if it's a, <laughs> no. That's I mean oh, they got, they because got me like blocked. if it, oh you can't even look at it. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, well, that would be my only thing is like if, if they're trying to if they're trying to give you all of this information and then be like, yeah, but you can get a one on one with somebody for four. Ex- yeah. Then I'm yeah. like fifty nine right. ninety five. <laughs> hey, you yeah. could make one of our curated up and comers playlists, uh, playlists. Mm. for one hundred and seventy five dollars, yeah. which is a money grab. Anyways, you're not going to get a lot of if you if you're doing music to, that's good enough to be on one of them playlists anyways yeah it's not going to be a significant amount of plays I, I saw somebody recently say um it was like uh, some artist uh, on tiktok he's got a podcast i don't even remember what his name is but he he said he's like yeah so i put this out and it got you know 12 million plays or whatever on spotify and he said you know how much of those were from uh the spotify curated playlists blah 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 blah, blah. he's like three percent and i was on really and i was on six of them Dang. So it's like, Whoa. if you're already doing good, mm-hmm. then you're already curating your own fan base. If you're at the point to where you're, like, you're dependent upon playlists, yeah, you know, I mean, playlists are just what they are. I mean, we've been doing playlists for years. They, True. They're, they're cool for some people, but th- it's not really discovery. People people don't discover really that way. Nope. So. I mean, the, con- the from what I see, um, you know, the concept is dope. I'm all about people getting access to stuff. We It was stuff that may have helped. You know, when we first started, it might have, you know, cut down some of the mistakes or some of the trial and error that we went through. So to that part, I think it's dope. But I just feel like there's something on that back end where it's going to be like, yeah, so surprise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just don't see that at the moment. From what that's I'm why, I mean, that's why list. I created the Be a Better Art- Artist series. Yeah. On bringing on the band was for that. It was just artist resource related stuff. Yeah. I mean, but if this is uh, if this is something that can help. You know, any artist just develop a structure or develop a plan and, you know, improve it. I'm all for that. So Yeah, check it out. If you guys are familiar with this, drop us some comments. Tell us we're wrong or. Uh, yeah, please do. Please some do. More information yeah, you love to tell us we're wrong on so many other things. Yeah. So it, it's called In cool. Focus. In Focus? Yep. It's yeah, called In so Focus. Get hip to it yourself. See, see what it's about. Don't get duped out there. Yeah. If it's good, it's good. If it's not, nah. Indeed. All right. So. See, like his hip hop producer Goat Time. Oh, this is gonna be. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be good. We left off last week. Uh, Cooking Soul, Zaytoven, Jazzy Faye. Now we're getting into one of Jay Moore's favorite, Love Bug. I watched Herbie Love Bug over the the the, the Disney movie. The Disney movie. <laughs> Just because I knew we were talking about this, so I wanted to prepare. Oh. So you did your homework. Yeah, and right. guess what? There's no relevancy to it. No, no not at all. all. But, you know, the car kind of has a mind of its own, so yeah. maybe. I don't it know. It was the good carry. <laughs> I was trying. Yeah, good carry and bad <laughs> carry. They tried to remake the Herbie. Um, yep. With, uh, There's five of those movies. They did. Is one, there five? What's the, what's the, what's the, she was in Mean Girls, the redhead. Yep. He used uh, to be famous. That's how I'm, you know, we yeah, talk about Lindsay how famous Lohan. fleeting. 2005. Yeah. yeah, Lindsay Lohan when she was famous. It was. I think she started messing with that boy. Wow, I see what she did there. Oh, she was on. Boy. She was on a little bit of, yeah. Did a little everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Y'all, hey. All right, man, I'm trying to find. <laughs> <laughs> And the Lone, thing is, like, had a, Herbie, uh, I'm, I'm Herbie, pulling up the witch call. Herbie Lovebug for him to be like the original, like, 
White Claw said he was like the original Haitian who was out here getting it. Oh, and that's yeah. respect, though. You know, that's respect. Because, uh, and he's like one of those people that's like mysterious. You don't see or hear anything. He used, and he was used, you could say he was the original Puffy because he was in all the yeah. videos dancing. Maybe not so much dancing, but he was in every, if he produced a song, there's a chance he's going to be he's in the showing video. up. You you knew who Herbie if you messed with Kid and Play or Talk Salt and Pepper you knew who Herbie Salt and Pepper Dana was. Dane yeah. Sweet Tea yeah um <laughs> yeah you knew yeah he had a he had a stable of people he was producing for all right man so let's go to and Adam he even ha- he might Herbie be one of, Azor let's maybe see. one of the ones where they don't yeah, have Herbie Lovebug Azor I think he was Ajax messing Swing. with uh, he was messing with Salt or Pepper one of them uh, it was Salt Salt. Not okay. So yeah, Cheryl, Cheryl. <laughs> you know what's messed up is like they put out the the Funko Pop or Salt and Pepper and left out Spinderella. Like they be mess. playing since Spinderella, man. I don't, I don't like that. Um, Lone, I'm trying to find him on Wiki. Let's see. I mean, if you this guys, this stuff is early though. It's very early. I mean, it's in that. I know the. I know in that that I got an attitude. New Jack Swing type. You know, it was um basically. You know, you, if you're talking about rolling with kid and play, yep. uh, you're talking to push. First of all, he mm-hmm. did. And the thing is, he was writing those songs, too, for Salt and Pepper. They didn't yeah. get around to writing the song till the album with uh, Got a Man and all that on mm-hmm. it. You know, he, he gets pee. He, he gets your man got to all... do with me. Not that song, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I might. Well, that makes it worse because then I don't know what it is. Yeah, you, well. All I know is that early stuff with the groups Jim Moore was talking about was pure heat. Man, was with, Her- with Harvey it Love, it's kind of if you know, you know yep. type well, of situation because I, uh, he has not made anything new, I believe, since like the early 90s, maybe. So yeah. he, he's primarily known for what? Salt and Pepper and Kid and Play? Salt and Pepper, Kid and Play, Dana Dane, Sweet Tea. Yep. Um, Did he do anything for Kwame? Kwame um, actually I couldn't produced, remember if he, he did was, he, that, was a, that was that crew but actually Kwame was like 17, 18 producing all those records himself okay because Kwame dropped the album and then he just went beyond the scenes you know um, getting after, that paper though after Biggie after Biggie had that little uh, slight oh, yeah, shot out yeah. with the uh, polka dot line or what not play out like Kwame and, and them polka, polka dots. dots yeah he's like alright I'm gonna get over and get this other bag I ain't messing with y'all yeah, dude is uh he definitely getting that paper. You know who So uh, it doesn't sound like his his discog is super extensive. <clears throat> nah, he's more of a pioneer, yeah. so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Like he said, yeah. and I brought it up last week too, he's more of like a puffy before puffy. You know, Puffy a, didn't make this list, so there's that. <laughs> well, he that's well before, so he actually was making beats and writing songs and things oh, like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now Puffy did orchestrate a lot of stuff hip hop wise. I ain't gonna front on that. You can't. It's just that he wasn't the one actually tapping out on the MPC, and right? Whatnot, so nah. see, he was orchestrating in a different way, and that's a whole other conversation. I, I it, am not super hip at all on Love Bug, and actually, I wasn't as at all until we brought him up talking about for this list. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's definitely uh, he definitely deserves his flowers. It's it's going to be um, you know, do I, we want to skip this because we do don't. We need to do with, some more research. Andrew I thought it would be. I thought it'd be more stuff that just we'd be able to pull him up, just like we've been able to pull up. It. It's like he's almost this hip hop ghost. Yeah, yeah. There's did not. Do heavy D stuff? No, that would be Eddie uh, F and the Untouchables. Okay. And, I mean, we can skip them if you want. I mean, it's up to you guys. I mean, cool I mean, I, know, be a, I, I mean, I got. I probably had. I could do my scores, but if you guys aren't as versed. Uh, on uh, I'm hip I'm I'm I'm, I'm big hip to him based on upon what's his biggest hit my push, push, it. push it push it yeah okay what's his second biggest hit uh rolling, rolling with kid play, play. play or maybe get up or shake your thing or oh gosh salt and pepper had so many joints yeah um, there was it was on a little tear for a minute I mean I think if it's based upon those two groups or, I can pretty uh, much tales from the Danes or um. Dana Dane had a very there was, good album. Yeah, there was there was Dana Dane was kind of like a uh, uh, slick Rick, yeah, so to speak, dialect wise. As far as I remember, I like rap. people, that, I, there was I, I remember like there rough. was somebody who had who felt some kind of way about Dana Dane because they felt like he was biting um, slick Rick. Then they're like, and it was like, why is he doing that? Slick Rick is from England. Why are you trying to rhyme yeah. like that? Exactly. I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let's I mean, just I got. Decide. I got I got Cool and Dre already pulled up. They they have. Uh, Let's just go to Cool and Dre because I, I, I mean like I you know. 
And because I know there's more stuff than what I'm mentioning. Yeah, we probably just need to. You know, if, if we want to give them a fair shake, we can do some more research and come back and revisit. And it. come yeah. back because yeah. everybody else, we read off their catalog, and you know, I don't want to just just go off a of memory nostalgia or lack thereof for, for uh, Herbie Lovebug. I don't think it would be fair. All right, so let's go cool and Dre. Probably won't mess matter much with my scores, but yeah, <laughs> probably won't. <laughs> At least you're honest. We pride ourselves on having an honest list. So what no. they say on uh. On the Katniss Everdeen movie. What movie is that? I'm not sure. No Where idea. You volunteer for. Uh, I remember when the politics had them going out in the forest and uh, fighting and killing each other. Man, what are you what talking about? What movie is this? are you talking about? <laughs> I want to watch is it. What The bird thing. I can't remember. Oh, wait, bird? Yeah, wait, some bird. bird? Nah. I have no idea. You're talking man, about Sandra Bullock remember. with the blindfold? Nah, man. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who, who's in this? Who I guess is Sandra it? Bullock with a blindfold. blindfold. Definitely no, not Sandra Bullock. You talk about the blind side. Yeah. No, he, no I know what movie he's talking about. The bird movie. Where oh, she's blinded. Bird Box. Where they yeah. had to volunteer for, uh, dang, never mind. Anyways. Yeah, you lost me on Does that Does anybody one. in the chat know what he's talking about? <laughs> I don't know about. what he's talking about on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Dude. If if y'all knew, y'all would understand where I'm going here. That's but, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right cool let, let's go cool and dry. Miami. Shout out to Miami. I wish I, I could probably, take a trip to Miami. I can probably read it, but I can't type anything. All right. So. Unless you have it, you can read I it. I got to pull it up. Yeah. No, I mean, you're going to need to type it. Is what I'm saying. Cool. But you um, probably can't read it. I guess you could do both. Bad Joe's Loyalty. Mm. Um, at, But they had like six or seven records on that album. Um, well, the records. I think we're some singles. Uh, Prove something. T a T S piece. Born in the ghetto. Crush tonight. All I need. Life goes on. Loyalty. For the records that they did. Um, ja Rule. Last temptation. They did the outro. Angie Martinez on Animal House. They got four records on there. Killer Mike Monster. They got two joints on there. A mm. uh, Ball M J G. Living Les- Living Legends. They did Confessions. Uh, the Terror Squad True Story album we had about three joints on there. They stay plugged with Fat Joe. What were the songs? Uh, they had a Humdrum, Take Me Home, and Let Them Things Go on the Terror Squad album. Okay. Uh, Trick Daddy. Um, let's see. Ja Rule, the Rule <laughs> album, New York. That was a big record. That was a big record. With Fat Joe and Jada Kiss. Crazy got a song called New York by some dudes from Florida that nailed yeah. it, but hey, <laughs> right, that's the game. Yeah, that joint was hard. Though. That Jay-Z was Jay Z wrote Steel Dre. Yeah, this is talk true. to him. Let's see, comedian there, Chris Brown. Chris Brown, what's my name? Uh, Fat Joe again, all or nothing. Wayne the Carter <clears throat> two, get over, featuring Nicki, uh, Slim Thug, Tierra Marie. So he's they've been around a documentary, hated to love it, big mm. record in the game. Excuse me, uh, Juvenile Reality Check, Joint Car Rodeo. Oh, that was a big Remember one. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, man, 13 records on Christina uh, Millian's. <laughs> she don't so count. amazing. She don't count. <laughs> Khaled, listen. Oh, that's cold blooded. <laughs> I mean, because it's not hip hop. Yeah, I know yeah, what you're yeah, doing. Yeah. Khaled's <laughs> Listen album. I don't Holla listen. Holla at it. me. I don't listen. It. I remember Holla at me, but mm-hmm. I don't listen. Three to Bricks it. from Ghostface. Yeah, shout out to. Yep, I know that one. Um, some work with K- uh, Khalees, hey Sean, that's random. Who off? Uh, Ron Fest, Blue Collar, mm. More, and All Girls. See, I actually remember those records. Uh, Blow and Boss from um Rick Rick Ross Port of Miami. Uh, Jeezy the Inspiration got a joint on there. Khaled, We the Best. Uh, Brown Paper Bag. That was I'm from the, the Ghetto. The originators, New York. Is Those were actually shoppers. some hot records. Yeah, like they got they got hit. Yeah. Don't forget about Chingy Roll on them, featuring Rick Ross. Sorry, Word. how could I f- have forgot that? Um, yeah. <laughs> Freeway free at last. Lights get low. I remember that. Um, let's see, True Life, Birdman, Still More, Fat Joe, Ace Hood, Khaled again, BG Game, LAX, My Life with Wayne, Big Dreams. Uh, camera phone, Red Magic. Those, I remember those records. I remember that LAX album. That's Heat. Uh, he got some work with J Rock. Some more Wayne on Carter Three. Phone Home. Y'all remember that? Um, M Class Heroes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ludacris. <clears throat> preview. Had a joint called Throw It Up with Buster Rhymes and Wayne. Uh, let's see. Q Tip. J Rock. I don't Darkness. know that one. On was which album? Well, it says Midnight. Smirnoff Signature Mix Series. 
Oh, it must be. It was it must have been some promotional kind of, sort of like Red Star sounds that Heineken put out. Mm. Yeah, yeah Scarface a, forgot about me. I remember that. That's a radio edit. So. Yeah, the Nas Untitled album. Yeah, make the world go round with Chris Brown and Game. Queen Latifah full album. Yeah, he. Let's see. Persona. Wale Attention Deficit. I remember that. Um. Yeah, they they they're versatile. I do see a lot of versatility. Yo Gotti, Teenage Numbers. Um, Lil Wayne, da da da. Yeah, he did five off rebirth. Oh yeah, the red album. Y'all remember that album? Yep. City Red Nation. Good <clears throat> girls going bad. Big money shake. Uh, lots of game. Yeah, lots of game production. Part of four. Yeah, it's good featuring Drake and Kiss. I remember that. So special. Uh, I like the view. That was the bonus. Tiger. Got some Tiger in there. Tiger style. God forgives. I don't ashamed. I remember that record. Uh, more game. Jesus Peace was a good album by uh, Game. <laughs> All that lady. I remember that with Wayne, Big Sean, Jeremiah, Fab. Oh yeah, they actually flipped the uh, D'Angelo joint. Yeah, that was dope. They did um, three off Currencies Pilot Talk three or five of them. Yeah, that's that's tough. That whole Pilot Talk series is fire. Um, the documentary two had a couple joints on there. Royce Book of Ryan. They had some on there. The Carters, that uh, Jay and Beyonce album, had four records on there. Summer, 713, Black Effect, and Salud. Did six off Fat Joe and Remy Ma's collaborative. Yeah. And that goes up to about two. And the Carters. Did you mention the Carters? Yeah, yeah I, you did the Carters. Carters. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's big. So that's pretty good going up to 2019. Don't forget, forget Kent Jones, don't mind. <laughs> oh, sorry, Kent. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and Fat Trail. Yeah, can't forget about Fat Trail. All yeah, right, man. So the, these guys definitely have put in the work. Most surprising name that you that you saw on that list that you didn't think about? Gym class heroes for me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on Christina Million kind of stuck out to me. Yeah, too. she's she does that yeah, Florida was, yeah. connect. Is that the, yeah? That's yeah. what that is. No. Uh, but I'm with you. They were trying class. to Beyonce her at that time too. So mm -hmm. they were really they were pushing Christina Million super hard. All right, let's let's run down on. Uh, on their influence, impact on peers and upcoming producers. You're my eight. Eight? Seven. Or seven for me. I like seven too. These guys are solid. Man. Versatility, uh, how versatile are the hip hop records? They're give very him, versatile. I give them an eight. Yeah, I give them eight. I can go eight, yeah. I'm going to be the only one that goes nine. <clears throat> guys are all over the place. Collaborators all go nine. Collaborator, well, that's a definite that's nine. Nine for collaborators, okay. I agree with y'all. I'm gonna stick with eight. Eight, Terry, okay. Big hits and cult classics. I'll give them a nine on that. Yeah, they got some joints. Eight. Eight. I'm gonna go nine with Ultra. Terry on that one. Consistency. They're very consistent to me. Nine. I'll give them a nine on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's all nines. What y'all say? All nines on this one. I give them a nine. They still, they still doing it. Body of work. I'll go nine too. Yeah, I'm we'll not mad. Eight for body of work. Terry says eight. Mm, yeah, eight. Eight. Jay Moore says eight. I'm gonna go nine with loan or body of work. They got a very solid collection. Final product. How often is? How often are the songs great eight. or their beats? Eight. I'll give them an eight. I'll give them an eight. Yeah, eight because there's eight. songs that weren't hits that I that worked. Technically hits. I was like, this is a great song. They actually, on that DJ Khaled album, they had the best songs on there. True. Mm -hmm. True. <laughs> uh, melodic. Let's see. Melodic elements used, samples, or original. They do, a, they do a lot of both. I've heard them flip samples. I'll and give I've a heard nine them do a that. lot of original I'll give beats. A nine. I'm going to stick with eight. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Jay Moore on that one. I'm going to go nine. You got long. Eight. Eight. Two nines. They had some solo stuff, too. Remember the Chevy riding hot? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He had a, a Dre had a song with Keisha Cole called Be Somebody that was like, that was one of my favorite songs that came out that year. Long, right, yeah. long you said eight on the drums? Yeah. I'll give him an eight on the drums. I'm cool with eight. Eight. Eight across the board. Drum roll, please. That's a high score. Point three. Yeah. It's well deserved. They, <clears throat> they, they're, they've been, they're, I mean, they're kind of quiet. Yeah. You know, you don't hear them, their names all up in the videos and everything, but. They don't have a tag or a drop, or but they've been steady, consistent. It just like shows, I had, it shows how consistent they are. I had no idea they they had done that work for the uh, for the Carters. For, yeah, man. Know. Yeah, they had like three, like four they records, I believe, on that too. Yeah, 
So they're, they're consistent, man. They, they've always been someone that I've looked at um, that is inspiring. Like they've had heat. They always drop heat. Shout out to Cool and Dre, man. 8.3. That is a good score. Very good. So I think we can stop. We're going to stop there and come back next week with Beast by the Pound and Rick Rock. Sounds That's good cool. to me. Maybe Love Bug. Yeah. yeah figure, <laughs> I'm going to do some, we'll do some, we gotta some do, research. Do, yeah. he, like I said, he's a very invisible man in hip hop for all that work he did. But he's done a lot of great things. Mm -hmm. Stuff that's still getting much airplay today. 100%. 100%. All right, chat, we appreciate you for sticking around as always. Remember, newoldheads.com for all the education you need this year. We, we appreciate the support. Stick around for the post show. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, but we still have a minute to take up. So. Oh. <laughs> Time stretch. Hey, hey you hey. know. Hey. Oh, oh, <laughs> I knew it was going to just beatbox for I, the rest I, of the I show. Knew was, I, knew, <laughs> I, I knew the G Funk, quote unquote, G Funk was about to come. I knew it was, I knew it was about to come. Yeah, anyways, we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. Peace.